Well, hi, it's great to be with you again. I've got some exciting things to share with you. First of all, around the country now, churches are coming together to pray and to plan around the whole idea of the Alpha Invitation. It's so exciting, this, because it links directly into what Jesus spoke about in John 17, 22 and 23, when he spoke about unity, the same unity in the Godhead that he wants to see amongst Christians and his church. And the Alpha Invitation is a catalyst for that to happen. So I really encourage you, if you're not doing an Alpha Invitation in your area, to think about how you might be able to be a catalyst for that to happen. We see tremendous fruit, 100% uh, growth in guests coming to Alpha courses as a result of the Alpha Invitation. We see 50% plus in churches starting to run Alpha in a community when an Alpha, Alpha Invitation is taking place. So you can go onto our website, alphausa.org and you can look up the Alpha Invitation under running, running a course and you'll find details on it. The second thing I want to encourage you with is that we have our national uh, Alpha Conference in Dallas in October. And it's a wonderful opportunity to be trained in Alpha and also to go deeper if you're already running Alpha to get some intensive training. It's on the 13th of October is the intensive training and then the 14th and 15th we have the National Alpha Conference proper. Nikki and Pippa will be with us, which is always very exciting. Uh, Trisha Neal and some others, Nikki and Silla Lee uh, on the Relationship Central front with marriage and pre-marriage and launching a new parenting course. Lots of exciting things happening. Think about getting your church and church groups as 20, 30 percent discount uh, particularly if you go in early, there's some super early bird rates. So I encourage you again, go onto our website, look that up and get involved with the being, being uh, at the Alpha National Conference in October in Dallas. Third thing I want to encourage you with is we're seeing tremendous fruit across the country. Different denominations are starting to get interested in Alpha. Uh, I had some great chats just recently with the Assemblies of God and it looks like they're going to be using Alpha to reach out uh, in their communities. So we're so grateful for that. We want to be ready to serve and support wherever we can the local church. Well, finally, I want to encourage you personally in your walk with God. You know, we're following Jesus. And when we look at Jesus' life, we see that his pattern of life was that he would spend time coming apart to be with his father. And we're told that he'd get up early, sometimes all night, and he'd go out to lonely places to be quiet with his father. One of my favorite verses in Isaiah 40, 31, says, Those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall rise up on wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And for many of us, we're so busy. There's so much going on. And if we're not careful, we get so tired and so worn that we lose our zeal in the Lord. And the only way to renew and be refreshed is in God's presence. So I really encourage every one of us to be people that spend time with God and to allow the Holy Spirit to draw us into the very presence of God. And you know, that takes time. Not rushing with our needs and getting our lists out, but actually being quiet and hearing the Spirit of God drawing us, quickening God's Word to us, taking us into the Holy of Holies, as it were. I find I often weep when I'm in that place. But you know, it takes time. Just being still. Jesus said, come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me and, and learn of me. I'm humble and gentle of a heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. But it starts with, come unto me. So again, I encourage you, uh, let's be people that spend so much time in God's presence. Let's make that a priority in our lives so that all that we do in Alpha, which is a lot, a lot of work going on, comes out of our time with God, which is our first priority. So bless you. Thank you again for all that you're doing. It's so great to be serving with you. And we just look to see Jesus glorified and his kingdom come here on earth. His will being done on earth as it is in heaven, across the, the US, using this wonderful tool of Alpha. So bless you and thank you.